What is going on everyone, Leon checking in, and today I want to do a video on what you can expect when using the Play Store and the Android apps on a Chromebook. And the reason I wanted to get this video up is because there's still Chromebooks out there that don't support the Play Store, but it's coming pretty soon to those Chromebooks. And I'll be honest, when I bought the Samsung Chromebook Plus, I was still kind of hesitant to pick one up because I wanted the Android apps, I wanted the Play Store, but I was hearing all these rumors that the apps don't work all that great, that there's resizing issues, there's performance issues. So the purpose of this video is to show the Play Store, show some Android apps, show them working great, show them maybe working not so great, just so you can kind of have a better understanding of what's going on here. And also, here's a surprise, I'm going to be editing this video on my Chromebook. First video I'm editing on it and uh, hopefully it's going to be at least somewhat decent. So if you see this video, let me know what you think of the editing. I mean, I'm, I'm going to be experimenting here. I may mess this up or it may be pretty good. Of course, I'm going to try to make it the best I can. We're not going to just, you know, half it here. We're going to go 100% try to make a great video. So let me know in the comments below if this turned out pretty good for a Chromebook and I'm also planning on making a video about it. So as you can see, the Google Play Store is gonna look pretty similar here to what you would see on your Android phone. You can scroll through apps here, you can scroll down. Installing apps is also gonna be very similar to what you would expect on your Android phone. You're just gonna click on the app and click install and the app is going to go ahead and install on your Chromebook. If you like what you're hearing so far, you're really going to like this. Now, it depends on your Chromebook, but a lot of games that I do play, they work really well. The touch controls work just like they would on my Android phone. So if you're used to playing games on Android, you're going to get used to this really quickly playing the games on the Chromebook. As you can see, the quality of the graphics is also going to be really good. Again, it's basically what you would expect on your Android phone. Now what you're going to find when you're playing some games is changing the orientation of your Chromebook doesn't necessarily change the orientation of what is displayed. As in with Asphalt 8 here, you can see depending on how I turn the screen, the display will either rotate with it or will not rotate with it and some games actually do work pretty good with the keyboard if you put it back into a laptop mode you can actually use the keyboard keys to play the games super mario run is another example of an app where you have to hold your chromebook a specific way because if you change its orientation it's going to change the size of the app and as you can see, when we put it into laptop mode, we can still play the game, but it's going to show up really small on our screen and the app itself is not resizable. When using the Google Play Store, you'll find that there are some apps that aren't going to be compatible with your Chromebook. For example, I love the AZ Screen Recorder, but this says it's not compatible and there is no install button here. There are also some apps that will work fine on the Chromebook, but not their internal functions. For example, we have a screen recorder inside Google Play Games, and it looks like it's going to work when you use it, but it fails because it's not supported on the Chromebook. You'll also find that some apps tend to open up kind of weird. For example, I've got Reddit here, and when you open the app, it will only display in this size, and that's all you get. And you can turn the screen here to try and use it the correct way. But again, it's just a really small app. It's gonna be kind of difficult to use. The print is going to be small. And I found myself accidentally turning my Chromebook off in this position because the power button's on the bottom. So that is pretty much it for this video. If you found it useful, if you enjoyed it, make sure you hit that like button. Also, if you have any questions or comments, leave those below. And if you can, go ahead, hit the subscribe button. It'll support me. I can put out more videos. You'll see them coming, and you can go ahead and watch them. So until next time, Leon checking out.